Greetings, this is M squared. We're going to do another sh a few examples of all three kinds of the segments formed by secants, tangents, and chords. So our first example here, we have two chords. Let me just remind you of your little formulas that are here. If we have two chords intersecting inside of circle, it's this part of the segment times this part equals this part times this part. Um, when they're intersecting outside the circle, it's the whole thing times the outside part. The whole thing times the outside part. If one of them's a tangent, then it's the whole thing times the outside part of the secant, but the tangent squared. You should have those formulas written down or memorized. That would be best. So we're going to use those formulas. So we have two chords intersecting inside a circle, which means that these two multiplied together, 15 times x, equal the other two multiplied together. And if we distribute we get 10x plus 10 equals 15x. It's a linear equation, so we need to get all the x's on one side. So we get 5x equals 10. We divide both sides by 5, and we get x equals 2. So this little part is 2, which makes this part 3. And you can check this 2 times 15, which is 30, equal 3 times 10, which is 30. Yes, it does. Moving on to the next one, we have a tangent, so we're going to have to square that and set it equal to the whole secant times the outside part. So 64, which is 8 squared, equals x, the outside part, times the entire secant, so this plus this, 12 plus x. Again, we'll distribute. We have 12x plus x squared. That's a quadratic equation, so we need to get everything on one side. We minus 64 from both sides. And we get 0 equals, we'll put it in order 2 at the same time. Oh, we already said equals 0. OK, so now we have to factor. Two factors of 64 that subtract to equal 12. Well, I think that would be 16 and 8. 64 is 8 times 8, so 16 and 4 would get you the same thing if they subtract to equal 12. So we're going to do 16 and minus 4. We still have our equal 0. If we set each of those equal to 0, we get x equals negative 16 or x equals 4. And we keep the positive value, not the negative value, because we would never say that the length of something is negative 16. Let's go to this one. It's two chords again intersecting inside a circle. So 3x times x, which is 3x squared, is going to equal 9 times 3, which is 27. And to it's a quadratic equation, but it doesn't have an x term, a linear term, so we can use square roots, which means we get x squared all alone by dividing by 3. We get x squared equals 9, and we just square root both sides. And we would get x equals plus or minus 3, but again, we ignore the negative because lengths can't be negative. Moving on to the most challenging one. See, there's two variables that we need to find here. We need to find this x and this y. And since we have all these little parts except for that x, we're going to find that first. And then we'll use that to find y. So 3 times 14 is going to equal 6 times x. 42 equals 6x. And if we divide by 6, we will find x. So 7 equals x. So we know that equals 7. And now we know that this part, 6 plus 7, is 13. So now we're going to find y, the outside part. Oops, let's start again. The outside part times the entire part, which is 7 plus 6, that's 13, plus y is going to be equal to the tangent, the part of the tangent squared. So we have y squared, I'm going to kind of do it so that it's in order, plus 13y equals 64. We're going to need to move 64 over. We subtract 64 from both sides. And we get this. Now there aren't two factors of 64 that subtract equal 13, which means we have to use the quadratic formula. So our a is 1, our b is 13, and our c is negative 64. So follow me up here, and we will say negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Now you can simplify this in your calculator. I'll just do it quickly for you. Remember to use, the, you know, the two negatives will cancel and you multiply this and add it to that. You'll get 425. 
and 2 times 1 is 2. So there's two answers here, just like in the other one, but negative 13 minus something is going to get me a negative. So I want to ignore the negative and just do this. Negative 13 plus the square root of 425. If you have a calculator like this, you can put that all in one nice little sentence there. And then it's 7.6, but we have to divide by 2. So we will divide by 2, and that is approximately equal to 3.8. So our y, that was our y, is equal to approximately 3.8. And this is m squared, signing out.